Good afternoon YouTube and welcome back to Fat Cat Collections and today I just wanted to put up a quick video because I have a box of stuff sitting here of products that they were this company was nice enough to send me and I haven't had a chance to get around to reviewing each one individually because um, I don't have some of the products that they sent me to use this stuff so um, I'm gonna just run you through what I got and then if it's something that you guys think you might want uh, by all means let me know and I'll make you a heck of a deal on it. Uh, so this is by a company uh, by the name of Mount Genie. And no, not something you climb, but it's a mount that I've done a review on already for the uh, Google Home Mini and of course the Alexa Echo. And what it is is I wanted to mount my couple of these devices and I'll probably get another one of these mounts at a later date. I wanted the ceiling mount one of my Google Home Minis, which is up on the ceiling there. If you haven't checked out my video on that, check it out. Uh, it's an awesome device to be able to mount uh, inside the wall by cutting a simple, easy hole in the sheetrock. Mount your Google Home or your uh, Alexa in the wall. And I mounted the Alexa downstairs next to my thermostat, uh, ran the wire through the closet, out the wall, because I had a plug on the inside of the closet. So the wiring part of it could be a little tricky depending on what you're trying to do, but uh, for me it works great. It's a, it looks awesome, it looks high tech, and uh, it's great because it helps to amplify the the sound of these little devices and it, the, the, the audio pickup on them gets much better. Uh, the one in my ceiling here almost hears me throughout the entire house where my Google Homes that sit on the uh, fireplace or my end table, uh, you definitely have to shout a little bit or be in the same room with them. Uh, so this thing picks up my voice awesome. And it's great because you can kind of have around the house sound uh, with a device kind of tucked away and you have voice control everywhere. I think it's a really clean way if you're not really interested in using um, the these products for the audio quality which uh, let's face it you don't get a lot of audio or quality audio out of a Google Home Mini or an Alexa they're really really assistants. You get a little bit background so you know if you're looking to have something in my office when I'm working I'll have that going a little bit of local radio station it's great I love it I use it every day they're great products and I love the fact that's flush into the ceiling and it looks super clean. So uh, let me just go ahead and show you some of the other devices they sent me and I'm gonna probably give my coworker one of these because uh, he might be getting the Google uh, Home Mesh Network and so uh, they have a lot of different uh, solutions for different products. So let me just go ahead and show you a couple of these and I encourage you to check out their website which a link will be in the description whereas if you have some of these products you might wanna, um, you know, it gives you different mounts uh, for these products. So. The next one, the first one I have here, this one's for the Google, what is this for? Uh, this one is for, what is this for? This is for, see, and this is something that would be nice if they listed what this was for. <laughs> it doesn't say, how would they not list what this is for? See, this is, this is what I'm talking about. Like, this is very simple to have exact, I assume this is probably for, All right, I'm pretty sure this is for the Google. <laughs> oh man, why? I assume this is for the Google Home Mini, and what it does is basically it's a plastic device. It's a cage, and you plug your device into the wall outlet, uh, or either your USB converter or charger into the wall outlet. You run the cable down the back. You rope it around the back of this, and this thing holds your Google Home Mini over any existing outlet. So if you want to get it off the table, have kind of a neat way to display, you don't want to cut a hole in your wall, this is a product you can use for that. Uh, next one here I have is, this one here is something maybe I'll use at a later date. Uh, this one here is the Fire TV Cube wall mount. So if you're unfamiliar with the Fire TV Cube, it's basically uh, a universal remote control combined with an Amazon Echo. Allows you to send off um, um, infrared codes here, TV, and use it as a universal remote. Uh, kind of like an RM Pro remote does, but you have the integration of the Alexa smart speaker. Uh, this gets it off the, off the table. You, know, you can wall mount this, uh, let's say, behind your couch if you're going to be firing infrared codes towards a TV. Uh, wherever you want to put this, it's a great way if you have a wall mounted TV, which I do, is to mount this right underneath. Uh, it's a great solution. This is probably something I will keep because I may end up getting a uh, a wall mount Fire TV Cube at a later date. Uh, and of course the Fire TV Cube also, not only is it the um, integrated Alexa and um, um, 
Universe Remote, it's actually the Fire Stick combined this too. So this is a great addition if you're looking again to have the Fire Stick, go ahead and throw Cody on it or use the apps that you can download just through the, uh, the web store. Uh, great way to mount it, have it look clean and uh, definitely something I'll probably use at a later date. Because I am going to replace the Fire Sticks as they get better, I want to have something that's going to handle 4K and so I will upgrade. So another mount I got here is another one of the same mounts for the Google Home Mini, they sent me two of these. Uh, this one's done in white, so you can see it through the package there. I might also take this out, actually. No point in keeping it in the package. It's not like there's any literature in here to lose, so. So, yeah, so, all right. Again, they have other devices on here, but they have instructions, snap in between fabric. So, yeah, so you mount it like this. This is your wall like this. It holds the Google Home Mini right in the cage, and you wrap the cord. Um, kind of draped around underneath there and that basically gives you kind of a nice clean you know device to hang on the wall with your especially like in a kitchen or around a bathroom you can hang this right off the you know because you don't want if you have a bathroom with like a GFCI plug you don't want to have wires hanging down or anything like that it's a great way to mount that get it off of the countertop so I might as well open the other one too since you guys are so excited here so again same thing but in black depending on uh, what you got you know this would be something for my my garage is all black so I don't know, maybe I'll get one for the garage, who knows. Uh, nah, you know what, I'm, nah, well, let's, go, let's move on. So this is another device they make. This one's kind of weird. Uh, if you have a video doorbell, what this does is actually kind of a gimmick, but it's different, it's interesting. What this does is you screw this above your doorbell, and I have a, I have a sort of a video doorbell. What's this other thing in here? Oh, double stick tape. All right, we'll just leave that in there. So no, you don't screw this in. Okay, so get a screwdriver, and what it is, it's it's a device you stick over your doorbell, your video doorbell, and it has an adjustable mirror. And so as you view your doorbell on your phone, you can actually see if your package has been delivered. Uh, kind of interesting. For my purposes, this would actually stick out too far. It's not the nicest looking thing, but it is functional, so uh, kind of a neat way to see if there's a package at your front door. Different, it shows they're thinking outside the box. Uh, I'm not sure if it's something I would actually use, but uh, if I ever get an actual video doorbell, uh, maybe, I would definitely try it, and I'll do a video for you guys on it. Kind of interesting, I like that the fact that this company makes a lot of interesting things that uh, you might even realize you're, you even need or want. I gave my sister one of these the other day. This is a basically surface mount uh, Google Home Mini mount. So basically you pop your Google Home Mini right in here. It just gets it off the table from being flat and more directional. So kind of cool. I don't know. I gave my sister one. I don't think she used it though. But uh, Next one here. I got the same thing but in silver. Kind of cool, right? I think it just it would look better mounted like that. Again, I, I've wall mounted mine or ceiling mounted mine, so I think that's their best product. But uh, another product they got here is a that's not from them. What else? Do we have anything else from them? All right, so here is another mount, and this one here is for the Alexa, your original generation Alexa. And so I believe they just redesigned the Alexa, so this is for the older one. Same principle as the Google Home Mini Mount. You plug in the device, this basically hangs off the plug that's in the wall. You wrap the cord around the back and it just gets the Alexa off the table. I think the slickest way to mount it is wall mounted, but if you're in an apartment and you can't cut a hole in the wall, or you may not want to cut a hole in the wall, this is a great option, okay? Uh, the other product I have from these folks is a this is what I'm probably going to give my, what is this one for? I don't know what this is for. Is this for the Google Home Mini? I don't know what these are for. So I might have, this, this might actually be for the, this might be another variation of this here. I don't know what, guys, I'm sorry, but I'm doing my best reviews. They should have put exactly what these are for. This is another one that looks like it's for the Google Home Mini, but... These are similar but different, so I don't know. Maybe this one's for the uh, maybe this is for the Echo Dot actually. Now that I think about it, just kind of a big plug for the Echo Dot though. I'm not really sure on that one. Okay, this one here has a 
card in there, so that's good. So this one here is a wall mount for your Google Wi-Fi. So my coworker, he's actually going to get the mesh network with Google. Uh, so this is a great way to be able to get your, again, your Google Home uh, mesh network, one of the pods they give you, off the wall, get it wall mounted. It's just a clean way to mount it. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I will definitely give this to him because I'm probably never going to go with a mesh network. Uh, this one, you have to take the wall plate off and you put this under the plate and it mounts that directly to the wall. Kind of cool. Uh, be interesting if you had a way to tap into your electrical box, but I mean, you can do that, but uh, or the electrical switch, but uh, you can use an outlet, but you do have a little bit of wire hanging out, so I don't know, kind of a cool device. And let's see what else I got here for you guys. Not much else, guys. Pile's getting slim here. And I think that's, oh, this, this is one. I'm still with you, okay? All right. So this is the one of the ones I was pretty excited to get. And this is what I'm going to do with this. Is This is a military commercial grade uh, wall mount for, you can mount the computer or a DVD player or an Xbox 360. It's got Velcro straps. You wall mount this to the wall and you strap your device in. So this is a great, I wanted to review this product with a wall mounted, like small form factor Blu-ray player. Put it behind my TV downstairs on the wall. Uh, this would be strapped to the wall, DVD player strapped to it, and you can just basically pop the disc out from the side. The only problem is nobody makes a side loading or a vertical DVD player anymore. They had them for a while. I remember they, they used to make them, but you can't find them anywhere unless you're going to get used and they cost a lot. So, I don't know. Maybe do something else with it at a later date, but that's a pretty cool one. I was pretty excited about that. And these are kind of different. Uh, this is a... These are a, basically a whiteboard and it says leave package here. So if you, your mailman comes and you want him to leave the package, uh, basically put this in front of your door and you can give him instructions. You can write it on here. They sent me two of these, uh, one of which I don't know what I did with the other one, uh, but leave it on your front door. I guess it's kind of a gimmick. Uh, you can let folks know this is where you want your package um, left. So I don't know. It's an idea, right? So uh, my post band generally doesn't, my postman crashed into my mailbox every day almost, so uh, I should put this like maybe on the mailbox, say do not hit the mailbox. But <laughs> nonetheless, it's a, it's interesting, so I don't know. Uh, let me know what you guys think about these products. Uh, the main purpose of showing you this stuff is because Mount Genie does make a lot of useful and some unuseful uh, products, but they're always thinking outside the box. I love their wall mounts. I love the fact that I got a flush mounted um, uh, Google Mini and a flush mounted uh, Amazon Echo downstairs. I think it's a very clean way to mount them. If you're building a home, I think it would be a no-brainer. But the only problem is with some of this stuff is that they're always changing and evolving. They're getting better. I know they just did a change in the Amazon Echo, so uh, eventually they're going to be gone. Right now, Google Home Minis are like 25 bucks on sale. So I love this time of year. I'll probably buy a couple of them because I did want to do uh, put a couple of these around the house. Uh, it just becomes kind of a pain to get the wires up to the attic and plug all it in. Basically, some of you guys have asked, how did I do that? Uh, cut the hole in the ceiling, mounted the Mount Genie in there, and basically I ran an extension cord through my attic. I had a plug in the attic. Uh, I just used a circuit breaker, plugged it in, and done. Is it to code? But, you know, no, but I mean, if I ever sell the place, then that'll get filled up and uh, or just disconnected. I'll take my Google Mini in my mount. Uh, but for me, I'm, I'm cool with it. It's not a fire hazard. It's not a safety hazard. Um, it's just like plugging in anything else. It's like if you plug it in down here, I mean, or in your office or whatever. So uh, that's how I did it. And downstairs where I did it, I actually had a outlet in the closet on the adjacent wall. I just basically popped the hole in, uh, cut the mount, popped the hole in the other side, just plugged it in. Easy as that. It's in the closet. Nobody sees it. So uh, cool. So all right, guys, let me know what you think. Subscribe to your channel. Let me know what you think of these products. Let me know if you have any questions or want me to research any products for you guys. If you're looking to do something with uh, a wall-mounted, device or whatever, uh, let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. As always, have a great day. Bye-bye.